What is going on guys, k &H Films here, and today I'm going to be showing you the new additions to the Disneyland Club World. As you can see, they're, they're kind of big, standing in front of me. You know, they're pretty cool. Yeah. But that's pretty much it, but I'm proud of it. Mainly, so I'll start from the beginning. So... For those of you who are actually using this club world, which by the way, it's awesome, we got 30 props. Dang. Well, that's trippy, he's like standing on nothing. Okay. Um, anyway, so that being said, the shadow tower, so all the clubs now have a shadow tower, otherwise they're not a very good club, because dang, keep up with the hip things to keep up with, something like that. Anyway, so we had one, it was perfectly working perfectly fine. But it was in like this weird purple thingy, like this purple like Japanese hut thingy. It was really weird and I hated it. But I didn't know what else to put it in. I couldn't think of anything and I didn't have the team to build something, you know, magnificent. But I was planning on making, so for those of you who have actually done the Shadow Towers, um, I actually was planning on um, making a Weeping Prophet pixel by pixel block by block um and it was oh it was overwhelming how big it was it was like from this tree to like way over here was the span the it was like to way over to like there it was crazy totally nuts i don't know what i was thinking but i abandoned that and i saw this one club and they had um it, and it was actually team pixel which is a, a club that i spend a lot of my time at but they had built a pinata park, which I didn't know existed until um, a person needed some blocks. And I was like, hey, I got that block. You want some of it? And he's like, sure. So I go over to him. It's like across this giant sea. And it's it's really cool. But they had pinatas everywhere like, because it was a pinata park. And so I was like, hey, why don't I put a, the shadow pinata or the shadow tower portal inside a shadow pinata? So... That's what I did. I started building this. And then my friend, Pick an AK, which you can see he's on here because he helped me build this. Not the not the hot dog man, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, basically, he helped me build and he's like, hey, can I help? And I was like, yeah, sure. And so what, ha what had happened was is he helped me start brainstorming ideas for where you different ways to do it. That glare is so irritating. Um, different ways to use this and so he's like hey since it's a pinata why don't you hang it from like the giant tree it's like right there that's why there's a freaking giant leaf thing missing from that actually and I was like eh I mean that's a really good idea but it's already on the ground and that means I'd have to move it and he said yeah I, I get you there hey why don't and then I came up with the idea because on my gunslinger which I will just show you, even though you guys have seen him before, but he looks so cool. On my gunslinger, he's wearing a hot dog costume. So, we were thinking, you know, hey, why don't we have the hot dog since the theme of our club, or my club, is, uh, oops, secretly we are the hot dog assassins that protect the hot dog alliance from the pinata empire, right? So, he was thinking, hey, why don't we have it uh, the hot dog guy holding the chain and the chains wrapped around the pinata's neck like you know he captured the pinata but the problem was the hot dog man is tiny and the pinata is bigger than the hot dog man so that doesn't really work so then we came up with the idea of a cage so you know he captured the pinata and just you know put it in the cage but then we thought well that's kind of you know gruesome you know torturing a pinata in a cage so then we thought why don't we just make it so he's in a display case and the hot dog man has a key you see the key so that's what we did we spent a really long time building this there's the keyhole for the key there's the hinges for the glass door this is all glass and so that's what we did and i was even thinking about so in his head this guy's head it's actually hollow so i was thinking maybe just maybe i could put a chest in there either the community to the only community chest on the whole thing or something else and i could do a secret passageway and you guys would have to find it and whoever gets there first 
gets it. Like, they get the whatever's inside. So that's kind of a cool little game I've been thinking about. Um, there's some cool stuff coming to the club world that I have planned. I'm not going to tell you what it is because surprise is better. But let's go check out the inside. So here we are. Here's the the magnificent Chateau Kenyatta. He's, oh, he's so beautiful. Anyway, so you come back here. Up there. So here we are. Now, you got the essentials for grouping for a shadow, a shadow tower. Um, here, so obviously you can kind of tell what I'm doing here. Um, and if you're smart, you can figure out what these four spots are for. Obviously, that's the spike, the spike boss trophy. Then there's going to be the weaving prophet, then the vengeful pinata, and then the daughter of the moon. And then all the other ones are going to be filled with uh, dream monsters. But some of you may be wondering, yeah, I've seen... I've seen a loot collector and a personal chest and sometimes an adventure, obviously a rejuvenation, but why is there an enchanted forge? Well, the reason is because people like to fake radiant gear. I know, shocking, right? Yeah, well, it happens all the time, and it's not that I don't want them to play with high-level stuff, with high-level people. It's just, like, if you're doing hard mode Daughter of the Moon, Having that one one less person to actually help out is it ugh, it makes a huge difference. So having that extra person being able to actually do something is wonderful. So I have that there just you know to poach out the the fibbers all along the uh, the Trovian. Yeah, you get my point. And then that's also what this uh, trade post is up here for. So you could show me your hat, face, and radiant weapon just in case you refuse to show me that you have a radiant aura. Which, I'll admit, on this guy, he's not radiant. But I don't use this guy for shadow towers. So, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, and then there's the shadow tower up here. Uh, trying to think if I'm missing anything. I don't think I am. Oh, I am missing something. I'm really excited. We got 30 props on our club world, so congrats to everybody. Um, I also managed to finally get the fledgling for the Elder Dragon, which is the refer a friend. I'm so happy about this. I've been waiting for this. Um, and if you guys can, it would be so awesome to refer now, because now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's double refer a friend. Where is it? I don't know. Anyway, it's on the main glyph page. It's double refer a friend week. So, that means that every refer a friend counts as two instead of one. Which means I only need 15. Or not even that. I need... Ah, uh, what is it? Refer a friend. Here we go. I need 24 more referrals. That means 12. 12 people. Only 12, just to get the dragon. So I, I've been wanting it for a while, and it'd just be awesome if you guys could do that. But obviously, a lot of you can't. Anyways, forget that. On to the rest of the video. Um, I'm actually going to start the Shadow Towers, so you guys can have a little bit of a gameplay. But I'm going to play it on my boomeranger, because... Mr. Comic Man has been waiting for some action, and he hasn't gotten any yet. Oh, and for those of you who don't know, this is the sarcophagus. The something sarcophagus. I actually don't remember what it's called. What is it? I'm kind of curious now. Skyjacked sarcophagus. So, uh, oh gosh. I messed up. Ah! Alright, here we go. There we go. I gotta get used to that. Alright. So we're actually going to do the first two. I don't think we can solo the Vengeful Pinata on our Boomeranger, which is fine. But we will get to open a Shaper's Vision, which is always fun because everyone loves Shaper's Vision, right? If you don't like Shaper's Vision, then why play this game? That's how you get Pentas, and Pentas just makes everybody happy. All right, go. Let's see if we can beat our record time. Oh my goodness. Oh, laggy. Here, maybe we should play this in retro mode. Here, let's see. 
Retro mode. Oh, my goodness. You know, I like this mode, but it's actually kind of hard to tell what's going on most of the time. Uh, and then this part is just awful. It takes forever. It's like... I, I don't get it. It's so slow. No, but my favorite dungeon is the third one. because So I've farmed Spike for a really long time trying to get the mount, which I want so badly. It's so cool. I hate spiders in real life. Like, they just creep me out. But the Spike Walker, the spiders on this game, they're so cool looking. Like, not that, that the, like, the supposedly realistic ones, but, like, the Pumpkin Poltergeist. Or, uh, that's right, this one has the annoying, stupid, uh, Okay, they're so annoying. Um, but I love the spider animations because they're so, um, they're just so clean. And so I'll, sh I'll actually show it to you in a second. Alright, got him. But yeah, I'll show it to you in a second, but it's, it's really cool. I like it a lot. Come on, there we go. I want to say the next dungeon is the uh, the one with the twins. That's that's what I that's what I call them, the twins. Because there there's two of them and they're equally deadly. Especially the healing ones. I, I oh oh nope oh they changed up the order. It used to be, so there was the lava the lava arena, and then lag, and then after the lava arena it would be, the. Um, it would be the twins, and that's, uh, the twins, it's the really weird dungeon where, like, it takes forever to get for the, to the first boss, where you have to, like, you're constantly going down in that, uh, weird brown tunnel, it's a stupid dungeon, I think it's dumb, but, um, and that, that dungeon, for some reason, just irritates me, I don't know why, it's, I, I don't ask me I can't give you a reasonable explanation it just irritates me but that's how it used to be so I guess that kind of makes me happy because that means I can farm without uh oh lag oh there he is hello I am here to take your cookies ah but for those of you newcomers who um, are still trying to figure out good characters to play, the Boomeranger is definitely one of them because, now, I know everyone says the bow sucks on this game, which I'll admit, it's not good. But if you want ranged and melee, this is your guy. It's literally like someone took Link out of the freaking, freaking Zelda. Or whatever Link is from, I forget. I think it's Zelda. No. Yes. I don't know. Maybe. Don't for all of you Zelda people out there, don't don't like hate me because I got it wrong. But yeah. It's literally like they took him out of the freaking That's why Scythe Place made the uh the Link costume. Because it fits so well with the boomeranger. Uh, I'm actually thinking about switching over to my Fey. Let's we'll see how much damage we do to the the weeping. We'll open it up here. Uh, I can't even tell what that says. <laughs> okay, that is weeping prophet. All right. That's the one bad thing about retro mode. I wish they'd fix it. It's like all like pop up huds and things are you know regular resolution but everything else is like all retro because i love the i love the way this dungeon ah oh, it's this dungeon i hate this dungeon looks just so ugly like even the 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 freaking torch placement on these things it's just so irritating and like why and why is it so laggy good grief like this is so boring like, who would spend the time to make this? It's so lame. Oh my gosh. Lag, lag, lag. 
It's like, what's the point of that right there? Why can't you just keep going down? I don't get it. People skip over it anyway. It just slows you down. And then like this. On one of them, there's like no red thing there. So you can just jump through it. Why? Why, why not just make it so you can jump through it? Although, people have figured out that you can actually fey, um, uh, I don't remember what it's called. Basically, when you duplicate yourself and you teleport, like, a couple feet in front of you, people have figured out a way to actually teleport out of this to get to the, the boss quicker, which is, I think that's pretty neat. Oh yeah, we can we can power through this pretty easy. May may not be as fast, but oh here are the twins, twins. I hate the twins. They're so irritating. Look, they just slap you over and over, and it's like, why would you slap me? Like, I'm a nice guy. See, look at that. You see that? You're so rude. No, you stop talking, sir. Oh, Tentaculio. Another thing that I've been wanting recently is, uh, so, um, they recently added the Wonder Troves, and I'm sure you're aware of it, because it's, like, a huge deal. They're so cool. They're so expensive, though. But, I really, really, really want, um, the new bird that runs on water. I really want that. Now, I've gotten all the mounts on the PTS, and I'm not really impressed with the, uh, the new dragons. Uh, the fortress one's kind of cool. The music one, I like the look of it, but like it doesn't do anything special. At least not that I'm aware of. I could be totally wrong and it does something special. I'm just like too dumb to notice what it is, but I'm not impressed with it. I am, however, um, impressed with the birds and then the, uh, the turtles. That is a neat idea how you can, um, and I actually have the tank turtle. But I was kind of sad because it's slower than most mounts. But I use it for mining, mainly. That's one of the main things I use it for. So I'll show that to you guys real quick. Ah, rare. The turtle tank. So it's actually got better fire rate than the... Um... It's got better fire rate than the dragons now because they nerfed it, which I guess it's probably for spamming problems. You know, people going into worlds and just griefing the crap out of it. Which makes sense. I can understand where they're coming from, but they could just make it so that, you know, you can only break certain things. Or, um... Yeah, I... I just, I don't see the point in nerfing the dragons. Because now they're not as desired by most people. Of course, I'm still going to get it because it's a freaking dragon. Like, why not? But I think it's dumb that they nerfed it. That's, it's very saddening. Oh boy, hello, big fella. I hope there's, I hope it's just the easy dungeon after this because I don't want to do the, uh, the twins again. I hate that one. Oh, hey, I'm gonna kill this thing. Oh, nice, no, the lava. Just kidding. Alright, this is ridiculous. They need to nerf this. Like, should not take that many hits to freaking. <laughs> but for, yeah, but for those of you who don't know, the turtles are worth getting because it's a boat and um, a land mount. Now, ah, oh, it's the twins. Dang it. And there's two of them. I hate this dungeon too. I hate anything with the twins in it. They're just so mean. But, yeah, the turtles are definitely worth getting. Just because, especially the tank turtle, because now it is literally the new dragon. Plus it's on land, so you don't have to be up in the air to shoot. And you can shoot in the water too. It's basically a boat with... A boat with legs and a dragon's fast firing cannon. That's basically what it is. It's like a boat, wings, and a fast firing cannon all like combined into one thing. 
It's very useful for mining, as I said, because it's a very powerful cannon. Now, of course, for breaking into dungeons, if you're gonna use the boomeranger, the boomeranger is just like better, and his bomb is just, it has such a large blast radius. But if you're just, you know, browsing on your mount, doing quick, quick runs and everything, the tank turtle is the way to go because it truly is that good. Come on, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Uh oh. We're just gonna use all of our sure strike. Now, one thing, here's another thing that I don't understand. How people get so much crit damage on their boomerangers because they say that they get like 200,000. I don't know if they're joking or if that's literally how much they get and I'm just like totally bad because I only get like max 80,000 crit damage and so I don't know how other people do it so if you if you guys know you should tell me because oh oh would you look at that I just got a freaking can I do anything with that no <sighs> great so I need another one. Life sucks. <sighs> That's fine. Whatever. I'll get one eventually. I do these all the time. Uh, there we go. Alright. Uh, we need to get our fast mount on. Oh. Spider. This is the pumpkin poltergeist. I just love the way it runs. It's, it's cool. Hello, Weeping Prophet. I've been dying to see you. This guy really strong. I'm trying to say, oh, no, we can kill this guy. This guy's easy. He's barely even, wait, do I have Samantha? I don't even have Samantha on, and he's still, like, batty. Oh, we need to remember to use up all our potions, so we can just kill this guy fast. No, give me my chickens. Oh, here come all the eyeballs. Get out of here. Alright. Boom. Alright, we're not doing good on uh, chicken luck. We need the chickens. We need the chickens. Nope, not that. We don't need health. It seems like whenever I need damage, it doesn't give me damage. It just gives me nasty, crappy, not good stuff. I need the good stuff. Come on. Chickens. Yeah, there are the chickens. There they are. Yeah, get them. What are you attacking? Oh, you are? Okay. You're like doing... Oh, just kidding. You did a lot of damage. <laughs> Good grief. Alright, there we go. Beautiful. Now we can open a Shaper's Vision. Beautiful. Got a shadow. Did we get a trophy? Oh. Dream monster trophy. No one cares about those. Alright. Shaver's vision. Here we go. I'd be okay with 10k flux or... Oh. We're gonna go buy a wonder trove. Yes, we are. And I forget where to go for that. Let me go back to the club world. Why did I forget where to go? I don't know. Here we go. Got up. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. We gotta go find a golden ship. Er, hmm. Should I save it? Nah, I'll save it because I got the Wonder Trove tome. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah. So, I'll just open up those when I fill that up. 
Well, thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Smack the like button. And comment down below uh, what games you want me to play, if there's any games you want me to play. I haven't gotten any requests yet, but I'm still open to them. Really, I am. And uh, friend me on Trove. My Trove username will be in the description. I've accumulated many friends on this game since uh, I started posting stuff to my YouTube channel. Um, keep those refers coming in. Like I said, double refer a week, so I need half as much to get the last dragon, so that's really cool. And uh, that's all I got for you guys. See you guys later.